He said if I put down my front arm that I don't show my underwear. <laughs> Your underwear could have been made black in five seconds, and so they would have, you wouldn't have seen it, would have matched the dress. Today I'm reacting to a photo shoot from America's Next Top Model where they make the girls pose as fashion gargoyles on the top of a building, and one of the girls is terrified of heights. Also, the judging is a mess. So let's get into it. We were taken to the roof, and Mr. J was there. Gabrielle. We're walking up the stairs, and I start panicking. I've always been scared of heights. One thing we can't do is act surprised when someone on the show is scared of heights. And what do you know? They have a photo shoot involving heights. This is what? The third episode, fifth episode, maybe? They waste no time. They're like, roll it. Let's have them walk to the rooftop. Amriel's like, fine, child. She could barely even look at me. I'm scared of heights. You a little scared of heights? I feel like a baby right now, but you know what? I can't help what I'm scared of. In my opinion, she definitely put down that she's scared of heights when filling out the application for America's Next Top Model. When someone is asking you what you're scared of and they want details, it's a red flag. Don't be afraid to lie on the application about your fears. What are we gonna say? Baby animals, chocolate, vacation, like a tropical island maybe? You know, maybe it'll show up on the show like, hey. Today we're doing a photo shoot on a tropical island. I'll be like, oh my goodness. Wonder what happened. Who put that in the application as the fear? I love you. Sometimes the world of high fashion is going to take you to new heights and push you to the edge of your limits. You girls are going to be styled as super duper high fashion gargoyles. And you're going to be posing on this platform right behind me. So the illusion is you're on the edge of the building. Who looked at a gargoyle and was like, we need to make this fashion? That's what needs to happen. You know what? I might be judging it too early. It might be fabulous for all I know. So let's see. Let's see how this comes comes to be. Up here, this platform, it's really sturdy. Use your limbs, do things that feel kind of creature. I must say, I do appreciate Mr. J actually demonstrating on the actual beam. Usually with these runway challenges and everything, they just, they're like, yeah, no, do that. you'll be great. We tried it before you got here. But they actually show him demonstrating, which is, I wish they would do that for every photo shoot. Somewhere you're looking a little to camera since we've got so many profile. Turn your head over this way a little bit more. Good. Okay. You really looked like this fashion gargoyle kind of creature. That was really the inspiration for today's shoot. Thank you so much. You did a great job. Now you're not scared of the heights though. I am, but I like really? the fear. I like it. I like the rush. They're trying to scare more than one person. They didn't do all this. They didn't bring this, the backdrops and this little bench here. And they didn't rent out the rooftop of this building just to scare one model. So he's really, he's covering the bases there. He's like, are you also afraid of heights? Okay, that's two, okay, we got two people. Great. Good. That's awesome. <laughs> Good job, Jenna. Love how she, she really just jumped for it. Oh my God, I, I don't even know. I don't know if I would be comfortable doing this. I'm not gonna lie. I could probably do this in sneakers. And then like a huge fence behind me. <laughs> I need something really big and dynamic. Okay. okay? Give me like wild, almost superhero pose. Okay. What's with the hand up? Is she serving hamburgers? Hi, Janet. Hi. Visualize now. Let me see it. Walking into the photo shoot, you know it can make or break you. You have to be able to take a good picture, period. The heels, you guys, those heels. Oh my goodness. You have to be able to take a good picture, period. You have to be on or be lucky. Also, looking at it from that angle, it wasn't too bad. Like, it wasn't that close to the edge. So, I feel like for the most part, it's okay. Again, I think it's just the heels that are throwing me off. If I bend, my white underwear is going to show. Don't think about it. Don't worry about that. Huh? Don't worry about it. Put the hand down in front so we can't. If you put your hand down like that, your arm is blocking. That's great. And bend in your elbows a bit like you're crawling towards Mike. A like Catwoman. I don't think she could get it on her own, though. Why are they having her do this pose if her underwear is showing? It, why Why did they style her like this if they know she's going to do something like this? This is definitely the stylist issue. 
and okay there's only so many poses you can do to kind of block that area and if you're doing if you have to pose specifically to block one area of your clothing then i think that's an issue you should just have her wear something else he told her not to think about it when she mentioned her underwear showing but then they have her blocking like actively trying to block that area so it doesn't show so then they are having to think about that and take it into consideration for the photo shoot. So that's what I'm, why not just style her accordingly and appropriately so she doesn't have to worry about that. So, so she is having to think about it because now they're telling her, oh, do this pose to block it and do this to, like that's the whole photo shoot right now. Last frame. All right. You know, I don't know if Janet actually got this photo shoot. I'm not convinced that Janet could do it on her own without constant prodding to let go. But also that's what it is to do a photo shoot. Photographer works with model, gives her ideas, feedback. They put her in like a super short skirt. You're going to put her on top of a building and you're going to put her in a mini skirt? And you have a fan going on her. All I'm saying is consider the environment when you're styling too. And then how it clothes do affect posing. All right, ready to go. Do more and arch more. It looks really good. Last frame. So how'd that feel? I was giving it all my, I was really going out of it because I was scared of here. It came off a little men's magazine looking. The men's magazine comment, why? You really think this fashion gargoyles thing is going to be the cover? Okay. Good. Mike, the photographer, told us that he wanted us to be like the gargoyles on the side of buildings that are like gross. And I've seen gargoyles, and I'm pretty sure that's not exactly what he wanted us to look like. It doesn't make me think of gargoyles when I look at this. It doesn't, it's not even close. Nothing. She's absolutely right. It, gargoyles are supposed to be kind of like crusty a little bit on the edge of the building, statues, that kind of thing. I don't know that this represents that. Those are great. You know what, Chantal? These are so good. Oh, that's so great. Thank you. Job. We'll see ya. Did he really just give her a compliment? I thought for a second he's gonna be like, you know what? You did terrible. The worst. I've ever seen on the history of this show. It's nice when he's praising them, he's giving them feedback. That's what I love to see. And look, they respond so well to it. She got so excited when he told her that she's doing a good job. So that's what I'm saying. Just keep keep that same energy and you'll have a good photo shoot. I'm thinking about falling. Yeah, stop thinking about it. Good. There you oh, go. Oh, she looks so good. You Turn that shootout. Seriously. Really? Really. Now go about your business, girl. Thank you. See, every time you can tell it's there's a bit of doubtfulness. He's like, you really turned that shootout. She was like, really? You can tell like the ma <laughs> You can tell they're not used to getting like compliments as much. They always have to be like, really? I did? He's like, yeah. And then who know who knows what he's gonna say in the on in the B-roll interview on the side. Well, actually, what I really meant to say was she did absolutely horrible. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> but I've seen it happen. I've seen, I've seen them kind of praise the model, and then, and then they do that little interview by themselves. They're like, actually, that was so terrible. Tyra's going to hate this. <laughs> I'm just joking. She thinks way too much. I see you thinking, Lisa. Don't think. Engage. Today, I started off a little slow, overanalyzing like I always do. And then he was just like, let go. And being like gargoyle, you think claws, and you think, you know, like almost like her, like fierce, you want to roar and all this stuff. Yes, you can come down even. There you go. Yes, love that. Good, Lisa. Last frame. Good. That's good, though. When you're not thinking about it, though, you're coming up with the best stuff. Oh, I don't okay, know. that is your problem. You did so well today, and don't worry about screwing up. Love that. Okay, seriously, that was awesome. Mr. J was praising her, giving her ideas. She's responding very well. You can tell that her demeanor changed as they were, everyone was just kind of bouncing ideas off each other. I think it was awesome. That was great. Mr. J really thrives when he is a good, constructive, creative director. 
And he, I love his energy when he's like that. Unfortunately, it's not always the case during these photo shoots. And I, did this, I wish I could see more of that. I'm not going to cry this time. I'm going to mess up your makeup. Cry? I was crying Girl, earlier. if you cry, I'll push you off the edge. No, oh, don't do that. <laughs> you are totally safe up here. OK. I'm OK when I'm looking down. I'm really scared. I really am scared. But I was like, OK. I really want to stay here, so I'm going to have to, like, man up and do it. The same face in every picture. That's her biggest problem. Last frame. I'm glad you got over your fear. I just wish there was more creativity. And I, I say that because you should be further along now. I, I guess I'm proud of myself for conquering my fear, but I'm upset with myself for not doing as well as I could have. She should be so proud of conquering her fear, especially in heels on a rooftop. Oh my God. And she's elevated. She did so good. I'm I'm very, very proud of her for doing that. Hey, Ebony. Hi. How are you? Fine. You know, when Ebony walks on set, you ask her, how you doing, Ebony? Fine. Nothing. I was honestly thinking her shot was going to be quite dull. Look at that. What do you want, like a whole conversation with her? She's there to model. And you know what? You guys aren't that friendly either. Like maybe she's nervous. Maybe she was having a bad day. We don't know what people are going through. Look at that. Ooh, look at that one. Oh, look at that one. How in the hell does she do that? There we go. You know what? What is your secret? Because you stand up there as dull as dishwater, and then we start shooting, and you look so good. I don't know. That was amazing. <laughs> I cannot believe she was that good. Yeah, she did really good. I love the, the pose where she was kind of kneeling down. That was really great. He tells her, you stand up there as dull as dishwasher. Dishwater? <laughs> dishwater? Dishwater? Dishwater, not dishwasher. And he's surprised why she doesn't want to give him like a full rundown of her day and have a full conversation with him. I'm kind of, cu I'm curious to see how these are going to turn out. Fashion gargoyles. All right, so you had a photo shoot where you had to be perched on top of a very high building. Gargoyles come to life. Um. I, yeah, I know you guys, I don't know. <sighs> the photography... I don't like this. I don't. It's uh, maybe me. It's like the lighting and then the styling and then the heels and the fabric and then the building in the back. I think it's also the lens that they use because the background, you know, what would have been, what would have, in my opinion, complemented this? A wide angle lens, like a really cool perspective. That would have been really cool to show a little bit of the ledge even somehow and like a low angle shot the fact that they're put in dresses also limits the amount of posing they're able to do without showing certain areas so the dresses i just don't think was a good styling choice and the pose her hand in between right there and then her other arm is missing yeah i don't know if it, it's not my favorite are you afraid to smile are you a little bit why are you self-conscious? I think my gums are too big. You can get so much by going. Like, look, can I have some of that candy? <laughs> can I have some of that candy? I don't get Just this. give us that versatility and that smile. <laughs> She's there so cute. Okay, thank you. Thanks. See, like, you don't know what someone is. Like, maybe someone's going through something or they're insecure about something. We don't, nobody, you don't know. And here is your best shot. The photo itself is just way too saturated for me too. Maybe just a little bit of dullness in the colors would have maybe matched that gargoyle theme more. And then you really don't see the environment that much. I mean, you're going to have them do this entire setup on top of a building, a rooftop. Show more of that. Maybe we could see the beautiful sky on top of the building there, some neighboring buildings as well more of the skyline but yet we just see this one like just a bunch of little windows yeah just i'm missing the environment in this here's your best shot look like you would do it 
Wow, she looks so good. Again, it just you guys, it's the background. This building, it's just so plain. Again, where's where's the 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 skyline of the where are all the buildings? I need some more ambiance in this photo. Right? Is that what they say, ambiance? You're afraid of being up there on the oh, edge. Oh yeah. So yeah. you're afraid so you are afraid of heights. Very afraid of heights. I felt looking at your film when I was going through it that you looked extremely uncomfortable. Mm. One thing, like a big lesson, when you guys have on any type of big shoulder pad that's covering your neck, you gotta pull oh, up yeah, because it takes away your model. Yeah, I, I do agree with that. Especially like if there's a lot of hair too, like this, you always wanna, sometimes I'll have the girls just like toss a piece of hair to the back or elongate their neck, bring their neck out a bit more. So she is right about that. Why are all the photos the same background? Like you couldn't have switched it up. You have a whole rooftop. I would have, you know, if that were me, I would have thought I would have gotten the coolest, like low angle shots showing off the city. Like why would he use this lens? Why would, why the lens choice for something like this? I just feel like wide angle, 24 millimeter. Oh my God. It would have fit so well with this concept, right? 24. Again, the skin is very saturated. You see over here, if I zoom in, just see a lot of like yellows and reds, very saturated. When you think of gargoyles, you think gray and gloomy. And then now we have, it, this is just too, it's too, this is too happy. There's too much happiness. Very on gargoyle. I don't see gargoyle at all. It's a beautiful picture. I mean, look what she's, look, what, look at her outfit. You think a gargoyle is going to wear that? Maybe talk to the styling team, hair, makeup. I mean, you have like a few people on payroll that you can have a discussion with after this, if you're upset. I'm just saying. I'm offering solutions here. It's a beautiful picture, but it isn't what we asked for. If this had been for a, a big shoot, it, this would have, could have cost, cost the client everything. money. If the client is booking a fashion story and using a lot of models, he wouldn't use the shot. And you'd be like, oh my God, the magazine's out this month. And you'd run to the newsstand with your family and be like, wait, I, I know I did the shoot. Ooh, wait, was I there? I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> all right, thank you. It, yeah, that's because the picture wasn't good at all. And it's not because of her. And I just like, we didn't ask for this, but we did create the concept and the makeup and hair and styling team did everything and the photographer directed and shot everything and set up the lights and the producers also put everything together and got the permits for this building. And well, we did like 98% of it, but we're going to blame you because you, you stood there for the photo and you took, you took instruction from the creative director and the photographer and then they picked a photo that the magazine, this made this fake magazine that would not accept this picture would not like this, even though we're the ones that chose the picture. And there's maybe better pictures out there, but you're the one to blame. Dude, even the lighting doesn't match and you want to blame this girl. Let's, let's not, let's not do that. I'm, don't worry, what's her name? I'm going to blame them. They're blamed. This background is reminding me of LinkedIn for some reason. Like it's a very professional like, I work in the city. My office is right here. It's that window all the way up there. It's very industrial. That's what it's reminding me of. Hi, Hi Miss Little Liza. Here's your fish eye. Okay, I like her pose, but look, her underwear is showing. She was saying from the beginning, she literally said from the beginning, hey, my underwear is going to show. And what did they tell her? No, don't. What did J Mr. J say? Don't think about it. I love her pose. Just had she just been wearing um, pants or something, would have it would have been more successful. This is one of the better poses I've seen. You can see my underwear. <laughs> it's very intense, the face. I actually love it as a photograph. I don't see much angles in the body. It makes your body look small and compact. He said if I put down my front arm that I don't show my underwear. <laughs> Your underwear could have been made black in five seconds, and so they would have—you wouldn't have seen it. Would have matched the dress. You really can't pay attention to those little details. That's a good point. When you're doing editorial, just get the shot and make it right. and, and, and embody yourself. Now, when you're doing catalog, they're paying for a very professional model, and you do need to know if your underwear is showing or if your bra is showing, or because you're doing so many shots. But with this, no, just be free. All right. Thank you. Thank you. This is truly a styling issue. She should not have been put in this situation. And shame on them for choosing a photo where her underwear is showing. That's the first thing that she said when she saw the picture. She's like, oh my God, my underwear is showing. 
which she didn't want from the beginning. And then what do they do? They literally choose it as her photo and then put it up during judging. And then they show like, oh, we could have we could have photoshopped it. And then they show a Photoshop version of it and then they switch it back just to prove to her, oh, we, well, we could have photoshopped it if we wanted to, but you but you didn't though. But why have to photoshop it when you can just have her wearing a short or something underneath, something under to cover? Maybe she's not okay with her underwear showing and she's not comfortable with that. I don't, this whole thing is, is, is messy. Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Hello. So, Lisa, you were the challenge winner, so congratulations. Thank you. And here's your best shot. Great. Why is it cropped like this? They literally cropped her entire arm out from the side, and then her other arm is missing. It's a, gr like, it's a great shot of her face. Love, love her expression, but the legs and the arms just is not... It doesn't work. I, I don't know. I don't really like it. That's what I'm going to say. Really wonderful. This is actually my, my favorite body shape. Your face has such intensity. It, you brought it to this picture. It's beautiful as well, and it's scary. I was literally growling in my head, and I just completely just forgot about everything and just had fun with it. Something's different this week. Why are you sad? Oh, I'm not sorry. Or something's like stifling. What is that? What do you know, Tyra? What are you what are you trying to get out of her? That's the question. Why is she prompting her? They know something. They know something and they want her to talk about it. She's trying to lead with something here. She knows information. Like why else would you ask her that out of nowhere? What is that? It's just there's become a big separation and I feel like ever since the challenge, more girls have become distant from me and just been like Caddy, a lot of girls wish I, w I wasn't here and that they think it's better without me. Never dull your shine for somebody else. All right, okay. Jealousy, jealousy. So they just asked Lisa publicly, hey, you seem sad, what's going on? It's not because they care. They want her to publicly say out loud the drama that's happening to throw these girls under the bus, okay? Not only is that going to anger the girls because now she's basically telling on them to Tyra, it's, it's going to create even more drama. It's going to make her even more of a target. I have a feeling that Lisa will win Best Picture because she basically just told on the girls, she threw them under the bus, and then now she will be rewarded for it by getting Best Picture. It will aggravate the girls so much. They're going to be like, oh, she told on us, and then she got Best Picture. Heather, look at that confidence you walked up with. Hi guys, that's a different girl. It's a beautiful. Don't like this pose at all. I don't know why the photographer took this at, at this angle. You could have just moved. The, had he just moved to the side, it would have been cool. Don't like this perspective. I'll say. Full shot, Heather. But I haven't really seen you from the front yet. Yeah, I wasn't trying to do that on purpose. It just kind of. It's called a comfort zone, and mm -hmm. that's your comfort zone. So now you have to break your comfort zone. And it's about confidence, too. You're not confident straight on, but you are stunning straight on. Okay, but you guys are also choosing her photos, so maybe you're only choosing photos of her from the side. Like, you guys are literally in control of what photo gets chosen. <laughs> okay, see how they put her in some shorts? You couldn't have done that for the other model? Jenna looks so gorgeous in this photo. I'm missing her other arm. It's like a lot of arms are missing. It just, that, that's the thing for me that creates more shape. The fabric just seems like it's in the way. I don't know. I don't know if I like the fabric in this one. It's it's okay. I, I don't like that brown building in the back too. To me, it looks like, say. you know, a hip hop ad. I was proud of you because you looked more high fashion. And if you were styled differently, you wouldn't look so hip hop. But in terms of your performance, you pushed it. And I was like, wow, Salisha's the girl that needs to be in the bottom two to get a wake up call. Even Tyra says the styling makes you look more of this. And it, she even admits that the styling doesn't match with this theme. Okay, so let's see who gets best picture, if my theory is correct. And let's see who goes home. First name I'm going to call, Lisa. I told you guys, I told you guys that they're going to do this. 
What? Okay, let's see what they say to her. Lisa, the judges think this is the strongest photo in the bunch. You just have to maintain your confidence. Look how they pan to Bianca as she says, you need to maintain your confidence. Why did they pan to Bianca? They know what they're doing. They're setting this up, you guys. Come on. Does no one else see this? They literally cropped her arm out in the picture and yet they're going to give her the best photo. I'm just saying things are not adding up here. So let's see who gets eliminated. Just look at both of you and see beautiful, striking women. Love the piano music. But the judges say they don't necessarily see beautiful, striking models. One is, has this athletic, muscular body, but you need to be coached so much to get one good shot. The other, long, lithe, and lean. Is it? The Wait, is the... Oh, it is the piano music. I'm like, did they start adding piano music? It's nice. It's very classy. I'm like, am I... Is this from another app or something? Do I have something else open? Okay. And although you guys shine so brightly, the pictures aren't as strong. Okay, the pictures are... Okay, bad. <laughs> You can't let the fear of heights get in the way. She didn't, dude. She did it. She did the photo shoot. She wasn't. She didn't even cry up there. Tyra's like, you can't let your 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 phobia of heights, your terrifying fear of heights on a rooftop, get in the way. And then, but they literally showed her doing the photo shoot with no problem. 